The RYSI Award, which is the Raman Young Science Innovator Award, has been instituted to create interest in science at a young age, leading to more children taking up science, technology, engineering and mathematics as a career. The award aims to establish science as a fun and interesting activity that can be explored anywhere with simple materials. Participants are expected to create hands-on science activities that demonstrate a principle in the selected topic. Working models, toys or experiments that help demonstrate a scientific principle may be submitted. The award is offered in three age group categories. Junior school, which is third and fourth standard. Middle school, which is fifth to seventh standard. And high school, that is eighth to tenth standard. In each category, there will be a prize for the winner of Rs 20,000 and a free one-year subscription to Think Tax Explore Annual Program worth Rs 6,800. Two runners-up prizes of Rs 5,000 each and a free one-year subscription to Think Tax Light Annual Program worth Rs 3,950 will be awarded in each category as well. Recognition will be given to the schools the awardees hail from. Commendable mentions and certificates will be given to other worthy finalists. The award is instituted by the Raman Research Institute Trust and Innovation and Science Promotion Foundation and sponsored by ThinkTac. To give children more flexibility, opportunity and time, the annual event will be conducted in multiple stages as shown in the table here. Preliminary submissions can be in any topic in the 1st to 10th standard science curriculum. Two submissions will be allowed at each preliminary stage. The topic for the semi-final will be announced and only one submission in the topic will be allowed. A child can participate in each of the three preliminary stages with the opportunity to submit a total of six innovations. A child can request for free mentoring after making a draft submission. Mentoring will be provided by volunteers on a first-come, first-served basis, encouraging the child to explore and helping to fine-tune their submissions. Submissions will be primarily online other than for the finals. However, some preliminary submissions are expected from government schools and other partner institutions based on physical submissions and contests. Participants are expected to create hands-on science activities that demonstrate a principle in the selected topic. Working models, toys or experiments that help demonstrate the scientific principle may be submitted. The entries will be judged based on the originality of the idea, the effectiveness with which it conveys the chosen topic, ease of access to materials required, and fun, that is how much will a child actually enjoy the activity. The registration process, you can register online on our website. The Eureka moment can strike any time. We accept ideas for the preliminary stage all year round. Just proceed to submit your innovation after registering yourself. You can have multiple ideas and we would be happy to review all of them. Up to two entries per preliminary stage, totaling a maximum of six entries across the preliminaries. The review of the submissions and empanelment of entries will be done in three phases around the year. All new entries that have been received since the previous evaluation date will be taken up for evaluation on each deadline and the empanelled entries will be announced within 30 days. Entries once evaluated will not be considered again for the next evaluation cycle. Winners will be chosen in each of the age groups and the winners will have the privilege to directly participate in the national finals. Meritorious entries will be selected for entry into phase 2, which is the semi-final. Preliminary submissions will be online. However, children who do not have access to internet will have the option of sending their entries by post to the address provided. The child can choose any topic that appears in the curriculum of 1st to 10th standard of any board. A child is allowed to submit up to six entries for the preliminary stage, that is, a maximum of two per preliminary. After creation of their innovative activity, the participant has to document it and upload a video to prove that they have made and performed the activity, photographs and a short description on the award website. 
These entries will be screened by experts and qualified volunteers to select a winner and meritorious submissions for progression to the subsequent stages. The shortlisting process will require children to develop a new, hands-on experiential science activity in any of the shortlisted topics of science. The submission, which is made on the award website, should include the following. Media, that is photos and a video of the activity. A video is mandatory to prove that the child has created and undertaken the activity herself or himself. A short description of the science behind the activity. The materials used and their availability. And the submission should include a scientific principle addressed, materials used, description of the steps, description of science, and most importantly, as mentioned before, photos and illustrations, and a video of the activity. Review a sample submission in the resources section of the website and download it in the download page. There is no direct entry to the semi-final. Participants enter the semi-final based on their submission in any one of the preliminary rounds 1, 2 or 3. The semi-final will be an online event. The topic for the semi-final will be announced at the time and only one submission in the topic will be allowed. In the final phase, about 100 selected finalists split approximately evenly across the three categories will contest a national finals at Panchavati, Sir C. V. Raman's old home in Bangalore. During the finals, one science topic will be chosen for each category and children will be briefed on the topic and provided access to selected resources and a range of materials. Finalists are expected to create their own innovations on the fly and the best one, judged by our expert panel, will be declared the winner in each category. Two runners-up will also be declared in each category. Please review the rules on our website in detail for any further information. We can always be reached on email at our email address and through our forums on our forum board. Hope to see as many children participate as possible. Every year, we are overwhelmed by the response, where we have almost 10,000 registrations, more than 100 finalists, and 10 winners. This year, let's aim for an even bigger and brighter event, and that all comes down to how many of you choose to participate. We can only prove if our nation has a scientific temper by acting on it. Register now and innovate forever.